the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth the first divine oracles given to the jews failure of them a strong recommendation given by the various prophets of the old testament we find a great lesson to be learned from the principal passage of Ezekiel chapter 5 verse 7 the way the nations that surrounded the jews exactly even the customs of them was also been surrounded for them the customs and traditions of those nations wherewith they have been given have made them to forget the laws the judgments the statutes given for them by the true holy living jealous lord god almighty the most high being recognized even by the great unbeliever kings like nebuchadnezzar the supreme the supreme one the most high god and they found themselves against the true lord and any time we find anything against the true lord we end up in perishing in that great consuming fire the same thing what we can learn today in our church age pertaining to our passage as practical application when we walk in the human energy when we walk in the psychological hopes rather than the spirituality rather than divine energy we are fighting against god and know you not what gamaliel told to those people if their origin is not of god then they will perish themselves and he gives two examples but if that origin is from god you end up fighting against god and you will defend yourself and you will be lost the same lesson what we can learn and apply today to our lives if we are battling around in the same human energy and if we are going around the customs and traditions of the people which is not in align with the word of the lord even we end up losing losing this great battle in this angelic conflict that's why take heed said first corinthians 3:10 as such how we're going to construct your house that's why first corinthians 3:10 also emphasizes for us to build up with pure gold silver and precious stones so that you should not be in a position to claim xyz trends but rather tell them the truth and in fact when it is a desire given to the believer to be very much aware to be very much cautiously aware to look what it meant to serve that great lord in truth and integrity of bible doctrine and great the failure of understanding for us the simple truth great will be the failure for us to fight against the souls in nature and to be in the filling of the holy spirit but rather we think our pseudo psychological hopes of spirituality in the energy of the flesh is greater and we are serving that great lord but do you know what you are ending up fighting against that great lord and when you follow the customs and traditions of this nations that are around you that means the all sin nature rituals that are around you god will start to make his judgment coming upon thee and that is a very very great dangerous for us that's not the scripture stands written for us by apostle paul if lord would start judging the great house of his own home and if we who are being saved will be fall away then what about those people who are unsaved we who have been given this great alekene kedesu spirit of politium of privileges in our hand and if we are not able to execute that and if we are not able to really guard it and protect it which is been entrusted in our hands how can we think of other things in this life how about them who have not been given this alekene kedesu of the old testament times 
past is past. Even the last second of this message, which is gone, it is gone from your life. But what did you learn from your failures? Is it not the divine energy that has been required for us under the mental ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, to rule with Him? To reign with Him? To understand the scriptures with Him? The author of the scriptures is Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and if He doesn't reveal to you the truth, how are you going to understand it? By following the customs that are round about you? As the nations that were round about the Jews of Israelites, they found their customs more pleasing and they went to do idol worship rather than executing the two status, the true judgments of my Lord God Almighty, the Most High God, the true jealous one. And God took a step against them and he seen their death by sword, by pestilence, anything they can name, including the plagues, the great drought. Then they repented and they came back and to build and started to build synagogue in 450 BC, which they have told them to build to build in the year 1441 BC when Moses has written for them in the book of Deuteronomy. What happened this thousand years? Lapse. No importance. No fear. No honor for God's word. Are we in the same way today? Check it out. We shall continue in the next day. Father, we're grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will enlighten us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.